It actually feels like there's bits of chocolate in there. Mm -hmm. Because it, it's, it's rich, that's why. It's like a rich chocolate. It's not like that this shitty like syrup they put in the chocolate or the other stuff. But the, Lord, the, the Hill Country brand and... Like Hill Country and Oakland, Old Farms both just put like really shitty chocolate in their milk. I like IHOP chocolate. To that it's not free refill. Free refill. No. But it's good milk. They, they have good chocolate milk. The syrup's good. One time, one time we were at an IHOP, I think it was with Slush. Because he likes milk a lot. And like just regular milk. He likes milk a lot. And uh uh hold on, I wanna see what happens here. It's a lot of damage. Oh. But um what's it called? We uh get the blueberry syrup and we mixed it with the milk and we told him to drink it and he did. He was like, I like it, it's good. And we were like, get out of here. So I tried it and I was like, what the fuck? This is actually tasty as shit. It's just blueberry milk. But it's so good. <laughs> See, me and Austin tried it. It was like, what the hell? It's actually delicious. Dude, that ramen I made this weekend. I don't, I don't know why it came out so good. I feel like it had no business being that good. Being was like, it just like a regular packet? Or? It was a regular packet, yeah. It was a regular packet, but I sauteed the mushrooms and uh, cooked the egg. Because what I do, whenever I make ramen, and the, the packet ramen, I, I crack an egg into it. You know how, like, the director just says, after you, like, you soften it, you, put, you turn it off, turn off the heat, and then let it sit for a minute while you put in the flavoring. Right when I turn off the heat, I put the egg in. Because the egg will cook, because it's so fucking hot still. It'll cook, because it cooks really quick. Um, and it cooks, and then you put in the flavoring. Or you put the flavoring first, mix it, then you put the egg in. It cooks it throughout, so it's fine. It's like eating a boiled egg, basically. It's not as hard. Like, it's still a little gooey. It's more like a sunny side up egg. It's like that. And then I just put the salted mushrooms in there, and then I sprinkle a whole bunch of cheese on top of it. And I was, I was like, I was like, you know what? There's Parmesan cheese, too, so I put Parmesan on top of that. And I was like, I was scared to eat it, because I was like, what if this is garbage? Like, what if this is actually garbage? But it like, I got I, my, my fork, I put, it, I put it in the yolk. And it went through the noodles, and it went through the cheese, and then it had some mushroom in it, because the cheese melted the, the cheese like glued the mushrooms to the noodles. So I ate it, and I was like, this is good as fuck, what the hell? It was so good. I wanted to make it again. It was so easy, too, because all, all you need is mushrooms and an egg. And you can do it. Well, oh, vegetable oil. I did, it, I did it in garlic and uh, pepper, but you probably don't need either one of those to make it like, as good as it was. You could probably just use garlic powder, like as it's cooking. Like I said, I'm not going to be surprised if they didn't put this in. It was like fucking amazing. I'm so glad I can <laughs> I wanted to make more of it, but I was like, I can't use all their packets. All them I blame that, that fucking anime that came out this season. It's that anime about this girl who loves ramen. That's all it's about. It's just her eating ramen. And it's, and like, it's like, the anime just, she, like, it's just them eating different variations of ramen, different kinds. That's all the anime is about. Wait, I think I saw previews. Yeah, it's like Miss Koizumi loves ramen noodles. Is that it's called? It's it's kind of cute. It's like it's quite a life, but it's just she's like a big to ramen, all kinds. She like she eats the regular ramen that people cook, but she loves packet ramen. Today that's a chain of moves. She teaches me that people how to like make other kinds of ramen with the packet, and that's how I got it from. Not that the one I made, I made on my own like no mind, but like, I was like I can just toss it in there and it's totally fine. Ramen's so flexible. Oh, no. Now I want to eat more well, because I'm like, thinking about all the shit I can put in there. I have like canned salmon at home. Uh, I can make like a seafood ramen with that and maybe some like okay. lemon, some lime or lemon sauce. Okay. That's all I do. And, uh, not, not okay enough to succeed. Something with potatoes. Maybe just throw some scallops in there. It probably, it probably tastes good as fuck. I was a cute check of the match, too, because I was too excited. <laughs>